uh, to folks to plant back on their places. A, a lot of uh, what we do, you know, at Native Nurseries, you know, that kind of really struck interest off the bat. Uh, wanting to go there was just that friendship and their persona, the kind of people they were, uh, and that they fit the mold. When we first got there, I was amazed uh, from the get-go. They've, they've got a beautiful place, big pastures full of you know, native grasses, wildflowers, big valleys, hills, ponds, wildlife everywhere, deer, turkeys. There's a lot of things that are there that are unique to that particular place, and that, and that to me, that's what makes them great gamekeepers. You can tell they, they care about the land, they care about you know, providing food and cover and all the things wildlife need, and they've managed to make a business out of that. Initially, pulling in the round stone almost gave you that, that wow of appearance, like you're pulling into a nice hunting camp or a place. It all starts with the entrance way of the gate, and uh, seeing the big barn, uh, down the hill and, and the creek that runs through there, which later we found out was Roundstone Creek. You know, just driving up to that immediately, you know, Jess and I looked at each other and was like, wow, you know, th this is worth the trip in itself. This is going to be a cool couple days. 